One of the most common ways technicians are testing pressure switches in the field is simply by hooking a manometer in line between the inducer and the pressure switch. Then they go ahead and take a meter and hook it up to the pressure switch to see when the voltage does go through. This is incorrect and I'm going to show you why. Before we do this test, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we have this hooked up. We have an SDMN5 dual port manometer, real nice manometer. It's hooked up to P1 and tubing comes down to a T. T goes to the inducer and then it goes over to the pressure switch. I'll go ahead and move this meter out of the way, the SC57, nice meter. And you can see that it's hooked up to the pressure switch and I don't know if you can catch this, but it is a 0.80 inches of water column that we're doing here. Okay, so the meter I have grounded right here, and I also have this going to the pressure switch. So power is going to basically go in. When the pressure switch closes, it's going to come through here and go ahead and um, give me the voltage on the meter. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and test this now, and we're going to show you the inconsistency in the reading. That looked like uh, 0.13. That was actually one of the worst ones, but um, I, I reviewed the tape and see exactly when it did close. And actually, your eyes really don't catch the exact moment that it does close. And the latency in manometers, you're not going to be able to tell anyway. Uh, so this is a really bad test. I would not recommend this. It doesn't do anything. but tell you that the switch did close. So reality is don't test it this way. Matter of fact, um, the manufacturers will tell you not to test it this way because the pressure switch is listed as PF, which is pressure fall. So that means that's when it's exactly supposed to open. However, it should close within 10% of that rating. Now, the most important thing is it should open within 10% of that rating. So I'm going to go ahead and perform another test so that you can see that. Another common test that's done in the field is called the pinch test. Basically what they do is they pinch off the line going to the source of the draft or vacuum if you will and then go ahead and pay attention to the manometer reading and also your voltage. So what we're going to do is go ahead and perform that test a few times and you can see uh, a lot of times there is a lot of inconsistency in doing that and the reason being is because you don't have a lot of control over this the other thing is you're not actually testing the pressure switch you're just seeing when the pressure switch opens 
So uh, you don't know if you have a weak diaphragm. You don't know if you've got a uh, coated diaphragm or whether it's cracked or there's holes in it. You also don't know that exact dead band that's in there. Now, pressure switch must open within 10% of its rating, and this is a 0 0.80 inches of water column pressure switch. Now, what I've done is I've left this all hooked up. We're going to go ahead and do it this way. All right, while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and pinch this off, and we're going to see when this does open. Now we'll do that again.
Now I'm making very fine adjustments to this to show you the precision of this tool. And we see the pressure switch did close at 0.86. I'm going to back her down. And we want to see when this pressure switch does open. And it opened at 0.80.